<laughs> Ben, so today we're trying something really different. Uh, whenever I think of seasoning, I think salt and pepper, but we're going to be trying seasoning without salt. Yeah, that's right. And a lot of people don't actually know this, but you don't need salt only to season your food. Okay. Yes, salt plays a very important role when it does come to seasoning your food, but there are other ways to season food as well. Okay, but other ways to get sodium or other ways to remove it completely? No, other ways to enhance flavor Without in the salt. foods that you're currently in, that you're okay. eating, whether it be vegetables or meats. Teach me a wise one. Teach you. So, can you pass me my green bowl over there? Yes, you can. One great it's way to add... It's a see-through bowl, but okay. So green stuff <laughs> in it. One great way to add flavor is to mm. use fresh herbs. We talk about this all the time and we mm. use it a lot on the show. Very proud of that. So Fragrance. using ingredients like basil, coriander, mm, your yummy. favorite, and mint, mint bring yeah. out the natural flavor of vegetables and of uh, meats, oh. as well as lemons and vinegars, because we know acidity. Yes. I'm notorious for using a squeeze lemon on everything. Yeah. <laughs> it just literally lifts <laughs> up. As if you weren't sour the, enough. <laughs> lifts up the flavor of the ingredient that you're using. No, it's because I'm counteracting the sweetness. So oh, it's I just see. never enough. Good one. Oh. All right. <laughs> so you've got the sort of freshness that kind of interacts with the sort of vegetables and meats and that sort mm -hmm. of lemony tartness that yes. goes with some really nice flavors. But then what about other things? Because I mean, so, what happens if you don't want fresh ingredients? Sorry, what? what no, if you don't want fresh ingredients, like you want to go with the dried stuff. Spices. Spices. But before I get to that, let me just explain. Oh. We do need salt, right? Your body needs salt. Mm -hmm. it's, it plays a very important role in your body. So it's important to still have it, but to understand how much. And on average, you should be consuming five grams of salt a day. Okay, but in like real terms, how in much real is five terms, grams? Great. Yeah. So what I thought about is how many twists out of a grinder. Okay. A lot of us use that at home. Yes. So it averages between 12 and 15 grams a day, which sounds like oh, a lot. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> it sounds like a lot. But actually, if you think about when you are seasoning your food, right? Yeah. Duh, 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 duh. But what about the hidden salts and everything else that oh, you consume throughout the day? True that, so yes. So you need to be aware of how much salt you're actually taking in every day. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking a lot right now, which is fun, but let's start cooking. Okay, cool. Deal. So, we spoke about the fact that spices play a really big role mm. in seasoning foods. And because of the spices, you can actually reduce the amount of salt that you're using in a recipe. Okay. So, Dan, I'm going to ask you to carefully place these salts, um, these, these spices, spices, into this beaker over here for oh, me. But gosh. let me first explain what we got okay, here yeah. today. Because you said carefully, and I'm already worried, so I'm going to prepare myself. Okay. It's okay, you've got this. So, you've got some chives. Chive add, chives add an immediate savory flavor to food. So, okay. that works really well. Because it's dried, it's got a nice warm flavor to it, or oh, aromatic note to yes. it. Okay. And then we've got some oregano. Yum. Some black pepper. Yum. Onion powder. Oh, wow. I didn't know that was even a thing. That's it's awesome. A thing. Okay, it's more concentrated, I mm -hmm. assume. Yeah. Garlic powder. Yummy. I didn't know that was a thing. It's a thing. And I've got some lemon zest and some lime zest. We can Delicious. use either or. Bitterness and that sort yeah, of acidity again. Acidity. And I've just dried it out in the oven for a little bit. And over here, something very interesting, which you probably haven't seen celery leaves. Oh. And I've made these myself, and I'll show you how in a bit. Parmesan, naturally salty already. Yes. Mustard powder and smoked paprika. Okay. So all these are going to make a beautiful seasoning for us so that it's salt free. But seasoning for what? Is it for meat? For we're going to use chicken, it for some for meat. Fish? And later in the second part of the cooking, we're going to use it to season a salad. So okay. that into the beaker it goes. So let Can me while you doing that. a spoon from you over there. There's a spoon that side. I'm going to steal it. There Thank you go. You. So let me tell you about, while you're busy, let me tell you about the celery leaves. Oops. I've literally taken the celery leaves off a bunch of celery because mm -hmm. we don't actually eat that. No, everyone and cuts a, it but off. Yeah, it's a big mistake because there's so much flavor and it's such a, it's a less pungent flavor and it's beautifully dried and then sprinkled over a salad or even fresh as a garnish. Doesn't it have a flavor at all? Because I'd imagine the celery is all, the celery flavor itself is all in the... Oh no, he's going to make me eat a piece of celery. That's in crunchy as well. Oh, it's almost got a smoky taste to it. Mm. Exactly. Mm. And that adds beautiful flavor to your seasoning and to any other seasoning. You got a little bit of <laughs> celery stuck there. So all I do is I pop it into a pestle and mortar. Gosh, this is actually a lot more time consuming than I thought it was going to be. Like, how hard is it to throw a whole bunch of spices into a, a glass beaker? <laughs> My word. Without messing. Jeez. So uh, all I do is pop those dry celery, celery leaves in an oven. Oh, sorry, first they not dry. Mm -hmm. It was into an oven um, and let them just dry it for a little bit and then just yeah, pound it down and you get a beautiful sprinkle, which okay, is so what we what have What you basically there. have inside here. So yep. that's how you've done it. It's very simple, actually. Really simple, really simple. Do and not waste. Don't waste at all. So what happens is this goes into an airtight jar and it will mm. literally keep for as long I as you need it. I mean, the, the parmesan like dries out as well, so don't worry about that going off. Lovely. So, it's as simple as that. Mm. for our dish today, we're going to be making some beautiful hake mm -hmm. seasoned with our seasoning. So a little bit of olive oil, Dan. Let's start with that. Cool. I mean, we know olive oil is really good for you. And also helps, obviously, bind all the agents together. So if you want your spices to stick on um, and also absorb all that flavor, the oil will absorb a lot of mm -hmm. the flavors that are in powder form. And then all I'm going to do... Pour that over. Let's just drizzle that over. Oh, yummy. 
That much? Wow, okay, cool. That was an accident. I'm oh. Shot for highlighting that. <laughs> I was like, sure. Let me just sprinkle before before someone just highlights all <laughs> my thoughts on live national TV. <laughs> okay. So That's then, amazing. You know, rub that in. Okay. And you're gonna pop this in the oven. I've done it skin side up, so the skin will become nice and crispy itself. Yeah. yeah. And literally after 15 minutes, you can have beautifully, beautifully cooked. Beautifully. 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 <laughs> it's gonna be beautifully cooked fish. What's up with you just highlighting That's all my so thoughts funny. today? Oh my gosh. I must you're say. so well poised that you step in the kitchen, you're like, hey, party. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So oh our gosh. beautifully cooked hake Lovely. is gonna come out the oven. I'm gonna show you how to prepare a beautiful le. <laughs> I'm super excited for this, but I honestly think cooking without sodium and without salt is quite a difficult task. I am yeah, like to. I think it's in everything that I know of. So kind of, um, I'm finding this quite a challenge to think about what else I would do to make like a sort of spice out of. And I know that we, I think we should challenge South Africans yeah. to try and make recipes that have got lower sodium in it than they would normally. You know, should we give away know, a prize? Yes, I will. Okay, how about oh. a 500 rand voucher from Willie's? I no, think no, it's a cool no, thing. No, no. Do you think we should give away a 500 rand voucher? No, a thousand rand. A thousand a rand voucher. A thousand rand voucher. If you comment on our Facebook post telling us what recipe you can come up that uses a little less sodium. You know what? Two thousand rand. Two thousand. This is like you. Two thousand like... rand. Willie's food voucher. Kim, if you can Kim, say that. You know this show is actually going out live. You are you allowed to say this? I'm saying it now. Okay. Two thousand rand. <laughs> Two thousand rand voucher. Okay. If you guys want to head over to our Facebook page right now, uh, go and find a little post there that's got our competition details on it. You can win yourself a two thousand rand Willie's voucher if you tell us about a recipe that you can create that is low in sodium, lower in sodium than it would be normally. Be as creative as you can. And I think the most creative post will win themselves that two thousand rand yep. voucher. Well, you've heard it here on Afternoon um, Express. Dad, yes. Yeah. Two thousand rand for me, please. Awkward. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to come up with that money. We better go run to. The busking and start making some money on the streets. Let's ask all of the crew. Anyone? Anyone? No one? No one's got money for us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get the recipe for our incredible spice that we've made on the show, do not use that in the competition because that's already our recipe. Uh, you can get it on your mobile device by SMSing the keyword SALT to 33650. That SMS will cost you 150 and your free SMSs do not apply. And if you want to know how we put that entire spice together, take a look at this.